In this video, we are given that d squared y over dx squared, the second derivative of y with respect to x, minus 9 times y equals x minus 1. We want to find dy dx as f of x, function with respect to x only. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. Okay, we're going to write the second derivative of y with respect to x as y prime, double prime, minus 9 times y equals x minus 1. Okay, so let's suppose the case where y double prime minus 9y equals 0. Okay, so this is the original equation, and this is the one we're solving right now. Okay, how do we solve this? So let's let y equals e to the rx. Now it's usually rt, but in this case the variable is x. y prime will be r e to the rx, and y double prime will be r squared e to the rx. Plugging all this in, so y double prime th there, and y there. So we're going to have r squared minus 9 all multiplied by e to the rx and that's equal to 0. And everybody knows that e to the rx is not equal to 0 ever. So that means that r squared equals 9 which means that r is 3 comma negative 3. So that can be r1 and r2. So what does this mean? So the building blocks to the first part of this, so the original equation has x minus 1, but we're looking at the homogeneous solution. So this is y of p, y of h, sorry, the homogeneous solution. Okay, so after this, we'll get the particular solution, and then we'll add both of them up to get the real solution for y. Okay, but the building blocks for y h is this, e to the rx. Okay, so this means y h, or the homogeneous solution, will be... So it doesn't have C1, but we can just say C1 e to the first r, which is 3x, plus C2 e to the second r, which is negative 3x. Okay, so that is good. So we want yp, which is the particular so solution. So how to get yp? Okay, but we're going to call, we're going to say it equal to y, but it's yp. Okay, so we have an x minus 1 on the right hand side, so which means we want to guess that, that yp, so yp is ax plus b, because it's x to the first power is the highest power. Okay, so you can differentiate that twice to get that y double prime of p is zero, because that would be y prime of p would be a, and then t do the derivative again, you get zero. So okay, so we have zero, minus 9 times y. So we have minus 9ax minus 9b, and that's equal to x minus 1. Okay. So this tells us that a has to be, well, 1 9th to begin with to get rid of the 9, and then we have to have another negative sign to make it a positive. So a is negative 1 9th, and b, to get rid of the 9, has to be 1 9th, and the, and the sign is good. So that means that the particular solution, yp, is, let's say b first, because b is positive, so that's 1 9th, minus a, which is 1 9th, times x. Yeah, plus a, and a is minus 1 9th. Okay, so that's good. So that means that y is equal to yh plus yp, which is c1 e to the 3x, plus c2 e to the minus 3x, then we have plus 1 9th, minus 1 over 9x. Okay. Well, what does the question ask? The question asks, what is dy dx as a function with respect to x? So, easily we can just do y, y prime, so this will be, okay, so how do you deal with this? So, you don't need to include c1 in the, the, the final solution, so this would be c1 times 3, times e to the 3x, but let's just make another constant, so that would be k1 e to the 3x plus k2 e to the minus 3x. Similar thing, c2 times negative 3 would be k2, but it doesn't matter. The derivative of 1 9th goes to 0, is 0, and the derivative of minus 1 over 9x is just negative 1 over 9. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it, and thanks for watching.